Now, up until about three, four days ago, I'd never heard of this fly. Now, this is a fly they call Dynamite Harry. Now, now, it's a very simple fly to tie. Now, the hook choice is entirely up to yourself. I'm using, I use this as it's a nymph hook actually, but I use it a lot in clink hammers and emergers. And it's a Czech nymph hook from Fully Mill. And this is a size 16. Thread I'm going to be using is a light olive, 8 0. Simply start at the eye, work your way down, and remove the waist piece to the point of the hook, and then come back up halfway. For the wing, I'm going to be using the Aero Dry Wing uh, from TM Coat, and the colour is a golden, the golden olive. You can see it highlighted there. Now I've got two strands, which is going to form the wing and the tail. Now you need at least an inch over the front of the hook. Two or three turns at the back, and in front, lift the wing up and post it up. I mean, just some turns in there just to bring it straight up. Now, for the for the body, you want around about the length, say the length of the hook, say so trim there. Now you can do this after or before. I'm doing it before, so you can see what I'm doing. So you get your length there, and then what you want to do is sort of. I'm going to taper it slightly, so I'm going to cut it from an angle towards the back, all the way around. Uh, so I've got some sort of taper or body shape. You can take your time. When you're happy you can stop, best to stop before you go too far. That's, let me see roll it together on your fingers to get some sort of shape and that's fine. Now I'm going to tie in a hackle. Now I've got a grizzle hackle. You can use whatever hackle you like. This is just a grizzle cock hackle from a saddle. Now just bear some of the fibres away at the bottom. You want the, the waist towards the back. I, catch it, I usually catch it at the back. Now you need some of the stem, the bare stem, to come up into the wing. Now you need to post both of these together. So what we do is we wind up around about a mil or so, and come back down, nice and tight. Hold the body and keep it on the top to bring the thread to the back. Now see where our waist piece went. I trimmed that off before I went down, but there's it, that's it. Now dubbing, dubbing choice is up to yourself, there's lots of dubbins out there. I'm just using a, a wee blend that I have, an olive and a natural rabbit blend. I'm just going to put it onto my thread, slide it up. Now just build up a nice sort of thorax with it. A nice shape. Now I'm going to go down towards the eye. Give me a quick look. I'm going to come back up on the end. You want to end up with the thread below the wing. That's fine. Now to form the hackle, what we want to do is wind. Now because we posted it up, obviously we've got to wind it down towards the, the thorax. So if we do a turn, next should be under that. And we just keep going till we get enough hackle. Nice and tight. Now what you want to do is come in underneath with the thread turn to to secure in the hackle. Nice and tight. Now what I like to do is take the thread to the front. So I bring the thread towards the eye, just draw back the fibres. I prefer to tie off at the front and then it's nice straight turns through the dubbin towards the eye. Now you have a wee quick look to see what it's like. And I find that strong. Now I can trim away the hackle. I'm just pushing with the scissors, I'm not actually cutting, I'm you know, just pushing into the, the hackle. Uh, a wee quick look, see how it, what it's like. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, yeah. And you don't, this doesn't have to be a picture. It's a fishing fly. I'm just going to trim away some of the 
fibers underneath, so I got a taper underneath. That looks okay. Now, when you're happy, just then what we can do is probably a varnish on with red. And then white finish. Just lift up the fibers. One, two, three, four is enough. You can trim away with thread. There's a small fibre in there we can come in and trim that away. Now we've got the wing to trim. Just length. Normally I would cut when I'm doing a cl cling hammer or so, I'd bring it to the back and just cut up. So in line with the back of the hook, and then an angle cut, and that should balance the things out. Take a look, see if I've missed anything. That's fine. Let's see, just change the colours, the sizes, and um, you'll not go far wrong. And that's what they call the Dynamite Harry. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>